All right, well, we are in Tucson, Arizona for Drift Week here at Honda Muscleman Circuit. We got the F80 here. It made it here safe and sound. We did have to uh, fix some issues last night. We were at Fine Arc welding until uh, about midnight here, which is like 2 a.m. our time. We made it here with the car, not really. <laughs> we towed it here, uh, but we're going to drive it in the shop, start taking it apart. current situation got the car apart we're just waiting for jordan because he's bringing the timing tools so we can walk it at top dead center but it does look like the the trigger wheels are off you can see like that hole to that hole those should be even it's not set at top dead center right now but those should be even so if that's the case that's probably where our problem is and that's why it keeps throwing a code so ideally if we fix that it stops throwing the code we'll find out jordan showed up he brought the timing tools, we retimed it. The car is most of the way back together. Uh, we're missing, we're not gonna talk about that. So <laughs> we just gotta put the bracing back in. Hopefully that's all it was. Right, Jordan? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> if not, third time's the charm. <laughs> we gotta do third time somewhere else. We've worn out our welcome here. <laughs> we think it's good it's not throwing those codes anymore. We still have a lot of chassis codes, but they're kind of whatever for what we're doing. So yeah, we're raising the front up. It was pretty high, but just from the trip and it's settling, like it's, it's too low, it's rubbing the fender. Uh, and I've got to finish wiring the fire suppression bottle here. Uh, so we have fire suppression for our first trip, first drives in it. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get to work. Your car to a shop, a dyno, an alignment rack, anything, you can totally trailer your car out. That means if you're at Adam's car track over in California, you break and you need to have a truck and trailer pull you away so you can go fix it, you can call a local friend, anything, that's all fair game. But if you show up with a truck and trailer, you will not be driving the next track. Is that clear? Yes. Everybody understand? Okay. It doesn't Get matter if- Midway through the day, we're, we're finally ready as much as I, I think we're ready. So we got the front lip on. I got a new one. I didn't want to put it on so the transporter didn't have to deal with it. Uh, so that is on. And then car got muddy. We had to go to the parts store. Nice thing about a street car, you just take it to the parts store. Um, got the boot in for the handbrake lever. Looking pretty slick. Boom, boom. Got this stuff back in. Got my fire suppression button put in here and tested it. And this is the only thing we had to really sacrifice putting the handbrake in here is just using this USB thing like this, which not at the end of the day, not bad. You know, we still have most of our center console. So with that, we also flashed on a 91 octane tune with the MHD tuner because uh, we can only get 91 out here. And with that, I think the car's ready. I'll be honest with you, I'm nervous. I don't get nervous going drifting, but I've never drifted this car. This car has never drifted. So I don't know if the alignment setup I have is gonna work because I have very low caster in it to make it clear better. Uh, Jordan has a lot more caster. Uh, there's just a bunch of things and I've never drifted it. Uh, it's, it's just nerve wracking. Do all the work on it and then we're about to go beat the crap out of it on a track. And... Yeah. But there's nothing left to do but to do it. Wish me luck.
that was great. This thing drove great, dude. I I only did two laps because I want to bring it in and give her a health check. It felt good though. Oil temps up to like 200. Uh, handbrake worked well. This thing works beautifully. Um, yeah, man, I'm stoked. This thing just ripped. I'm gonna let it run for a minute, let it cool off. Uh, but it feels really good. Handbrake works good. Sick, sick. Seat's a little, a little too loose. Like I prefer a bucket, like a fixed back, but I think the trade-off is worth it. Like the little bit I lose in, in support, like I gain a lot in comfort. Ah, oh, man, that felt good. That felt good. Damn. Wild. This is so cool. <laughs> no, it's sick. <laughs> like, just doing it by myself is cool, but seeing like another F80 cross in front of you. to drive than I thought it was going to be.
kept on locking. True. set of Nitto NT555 G2s. These are like the longest lasting tires ever. This is a heavy car, makes a lot of power. We've done a good amount of laps and there's still life left in them. But man, the old girl's holding up, man. Oh, it feels so good. I can't tell you guys how happy it makes me to be driving this thing on Drift Week. It's only day one. So like we gotta make it at least to another track. But man, tandem with Jordan in F80 is like, it's honestly more fun and exciting than I thought it would be. Just th something about tandeming in these cars is just so good. Like, even we're not even that close and it's just like, yes, this is, ah, I'm so happy. What a great day. We're gonna call it on that note because it's been a great day and I want it to continue being a great day. So we're gonna pack it up for tonight. We'll come back tomorrow. We got a whole nother day here at this track. So we'll probably get packed up, be ready to head out early to the uh, Airbnb, relax, get some food, A1. All right, well, we're driving to the track for day two. It is really pretty out here. There's a lot of mountains in the background. You can see them just every direction you look, you got mountains. Uh, but yeah, went to O'Reilly's, got some octane booster because there's only 91 out here. We did use the MHD to put a 91 tune in it, so I'm, I'm sure it's fine, but I'm used to 93. Well, you know, make sure, make sure she's got some 93. I mean, even factory, it tells you to run 91 minimum, but 93 is ideal. So uh, yeah, track for day two. A good night's sleep last night. Car's loaded up. Uh, we don't have the wheels in here, but we have most everything else. The ride's pretty good. We're on kind of chunk tires. We ran the same set of G2s all day yesterday. Uh, so we're so far we're being really conservative and good to our tires, which is good. Please, even if you're local, do not go off. There was, I think that one car went off like four times and what lap, all four tires. Please don't go off. Respect the track. It's not fair to tear up the track, especially when it's like one dude doing 80 
our tires for the trip. We're gonna go take them and put them in Aaron's trailer for the trip to the next leg. All right, we're getting a fresh set of tires swapped on for the drive because our next drive is eight hours to California. So we don't want the drift tires. We saved a brand new set, so we wouldn't have flat spotted tires to deal with. Even just a little bit of drifting, especially here, there's a lot of long handbrake sections. And even with pulsing the handbrake, you, you flat spot them a little bit and then it vibrates. So fresh set for our eight hour drive. We're gonna the car back to street mode. Uh, but yeah, we got to pack it all up. Aaron's taking all the wheels as part of Drift Week and the tires. We have four rears, four extra rears plus these. We got all sorts, cooler, one wheels, all the tools I could think of, little ramps, spare radiator hose, all the things. And we are out. Goodbye, muscle man, Honda Circuit. Thank you for being good on tires. We got some more strange clunks, but we're also as loaded down as we were the first day, which we weren't that loaded down the last two days because we left some of the stuff at the track. So we took a little spacer out of the rear because it was rubbing pretty bad. Not rubbing so much anymore. We had our almost dialed for street traffic.